Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Oprah Pavarian and this is number 74 of the Dev Diaries for Crusader Kings 3. Today, this one is called Please Kaiser, Can I Have Some More? Written by Chopmas. Thank you Chopmas for that very much. Now this one is one that we have waited for for such a long time. We have honestly collectively on this channel and I think in this community as a whole talked so often on the topic of, okay, the royal code looks great, but what can I do? How can I interact with this as a vassal? And today, now here we have actually the thing that this is exactly. So uh, basically, now now let's find out whether these mechanics are good, whether they are well implemented and whether they work. But for starters, this is most certainly what we have asked for for ages, what I have asked for for ages as well. So this is about the royal court from our perspective. Sometimes you just want to rule a small corner of a mightier realm and enjoy the benefits of the Emperor's protection and while a Duchess doesn't have their own royal court, they can interact with their lieges, vi uh, lieges via two, uh, two new decisions. Petition liege is the first decision. Player vassals can approach their king or above ranked liege with a petition at any time through a new decision, providing they have enough prestige, there is something they can ask for and they haven't done so in the last five years. Lieges will currently only interact with this content if they happen to have a player as their vassal and they make their own, no doubt, outrageous request. So this one of course, I, I have to, I want to rewind this a little bit here. It really does mean that the content that you're about to see, the, so this is Petition Liege, you're only going to see this if you are an actual player vassal. If you are a player Liege, then you must be playing multiplayer, or otherwise you won't be seeing it, because without multiplayer you won't have a player vassal. Now usually, when it comes to these mechanics where it's basically just the player using it and not at all the AI using it, I personally always say that is bad because it's basically a mechanic that doesn't exi exist outside of the player's existence. Now in this one, I don't think that is dramatic at all, mostly because we have seen mo one of the or some of the more than 100 events for the regular royal court occurrences if you are just the liege. We have seen those and the way those work is quite promising. Now what do I mean by that? Uh, basically, most of the things that we will be seeing here in a second, just you know when it comes to the petition liege uh, choices that you can make, most of those are already generated when they generate I believe currently three of those opportunities if you hold court as the liege. Meaning that this system exists to let the player direct what is petitioned, but you already have much of what you can see right here integrated into the randomized system of, hey, we have a different petition this time, you know, this and that is going on. And sometimes it will, for example, involve uh, somebody else that, you know, belongs to uh, that is independent, for example, and they may say, I want to pledge allegiance. This is one of the ones that, as a player, you can already do, but now you get this uh, in a position also if you are the liege. Uh, you also have a situation, of course, where you know it comes to claims and there's a certain uncertainty between your vassals going on, you know, that sort of stuff, and that is also included in this system, but, again, it is from the vassals' AI side already included in the general generation, at least from what I can tell, so that is quite nice. The possibilities include asking for a position on your liege's council, asking for a title that you hold a claim on, or dismantling an unruly faction in your own realm. There are currently 14 different options, each having some equivalent in the hold, uh, hold court events brought to the liege's by AI, AI vassals, ranging from helping you convert your lands to paying off your debts. Yeah, as you, as you see, that's basically what it is. It already is integrated. This just makes it so that you have a direction, and I think that is good. That is what I wanted. I will say, there's one that isn't mentioned. There's one that is a bit absent. And that is asking your liege to push your claim against a foreign realm. So actually pushing your claim and going to war for you. I'm not seeing that here, but let's go through what we can see. And actually, let's just uh, use this larger image right here. Council appointment. Makes sense. Settle debt. Pay off debt is... I mean, this is huge. If you actually go and have like minus 2,000, then your liege comes and pays it off. That is massive. Grant claim. So grant a claim title means that your liege holds that title and gives it to you. Okay. Transfer claim. Bestow claim title of a vassal, meaning that they, you know, basically take a title that a vassal holds and gives it to you. That is, of course, incredibly rude and likely will make some enemies here and there. Then we have dismantle faction. Break up a power. Powerful faction. I wonder, because I'm not so sure here, is this related to your factions that, you know, for example, that you have underneath you, or is it related to a faction within the realm that belongs to the Kaiser? Honestly, I am eager to find out. The most intuitive one sounds like the Kaiser comes and says, hey, you know, counts underneath this duke that is petitioning me, you should basically let this go. But I will say, I, I really am hoping for much more faction interactivity just in general. That will likely not be in the Royal Court because the Royal Court already has so much going for it. But again, I would love to see that. And I think that these sort of decisions can definitely feed into that. Uh, then we have Realm Peace, which is entirely new. Realm Peace, not a thing. Uh, in CK3. In CK2, of course, it was a thing. You could call for it. You could uh, make your liege call for it, and so on and so forth. So this is basically an evolving uh, uh, discipline, you could say here. 
because there is something here that we didn't have in CK2. I mean, settle debt, grant claim, transfer claim. Uh, the council appointment definitely, to a degree, existed at the very least. This metal faction, not a thing at all. That sort of stuff, completely new, but then you come in with a realm piece and say, okay, but we have this situation going on here where basically uh, we're coming back with a feature and it's expanded because now it will be part of the royal court. I like this list. I, I would love to see whether you have any ideas. So there will be 14 in there currently. Here we see six, of course. So that is all we know about the system, meaning that there are eight more opportunities that we don't know about, eight more petitions. And I will say, I'm very happy. This is actually what I would like to see, I think, when it comes to this idea. I, I really hope that we can impact grander with this as well, for example, right? So if you get a council appointment, does that make it worse or better, right? That sort of stuff. But either way, uh, the way I see it, the only thing that I personally am missing here, because again, the AI concern that I talked about is kind of gone for me. The only thing that I'm missing here is the idea of your liege going to war against somebody that you want them to go to war to. Honestly, it doesn't even need to be a claim. I think genuinely that... Uh, if you had a situation, you know, if you say, hey, a different ruler, a neighboring ruler, the king of France is excommunicated, you might want to go ahead and say, my liege, I want you to go to war against them to oust them. That sort of stuff currently missing and wasn't in CK2 either, you couldn't really ask your liege for that. I think that would be great. You should honestly let me know what you think about that, what other ideas you have. Because this is something, and I want to highlight that as well, this is without a doubt something that is so damn moddable. I'm really, really excited there's this existing framework now for interacting with your liege that isn't just, you know, a, a, an interaction, a regular interaction. No, this is a decision. You can have so much stuff in there that is directly interwoven, of course, with the royal court. I'm really looking forward to what the modders have to show there as well. This will allow you to take, uh, to ask for things directly without resorting immediately to war, which can remain at la a last resort for when you need to topple that king whose tolerance of border gore clearly proves the illegitimacy that makes sense. So, if I understand this correctly, this is basically one player sending something to another player there is not the uh, there's usually a player highlight here I believe it's like uh, slightly purple but anyway greetings my charming liege my entourage and I have just arrived in Constantinople after wearing travel there are important matters regarding the welfare of Thessalonica that I must discuss with you I request an audience at your court at your earliest convenience signed Dukes Nikephoros of Thessalonica and then the uh, liege of course in this case the Emperor of the East Roman Empire has the choice of saying fetch Dukes Nikephoros and bring him to me or I am too busy to deal with him right now so this can happen to the player it is up to the liege whether or, uh, whether to receive a petitioner, though outright refusing will damage relations and be seen as slightly tyrannical. The request itself may also be rejected once heard, and the odds of acceptance by the AI will be tipped more in your favor if you make reasonable requests and maintain good relations. After all, your boss doesn't want to be seen as unreasonable. So, let's take a look at what we have right here. Duke Vratislav is at least uh, is at last shown into my great hall and wastes no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. The county of Boleslav's faithful are, uh, the, the county of Boleslav's faithful are in need of a place of worship. I would be humble if you would found, uh, found a new church in Bejdesh for the Catholic faith. Right, so this would actually give you a new holding if I see this correctly. Start construction of a temple in Bezdesh. Okay, very, very, uh, very cool. Boleslav has been bereft of a bishop far too long. Surely you will sponsor an annex, so this basically is just you give him money, I assume. Uh, you know, let's say like 200 bucks or something. God will bear witness to your dues. I wonder what that could mean. Maybe you spend even more than you have to. And then the pious generally sponsor churches themselves, in which case he says, I will give you nothing. This gives you 10 court grander. Yeah, there you go. This is actually really good. Okay, I'm really interested in that. So these opportunities actually aren't just opportunities for you as a player to impact something on the map, to get influence. No, it is actually there so that you can influence the grander of the liege. Let's say they say the pious generally sponsor churches themselves are just an annex that will likely either influence their court grander less or or make it even go down so negatively which is great because now you as a player have an alley to actually say I want to influence how my liege's court grander is going maybe I want to help them maybe I want to go against them you know I want to be a part of the system I want to be I want to go there to do my due diligence you know to say I want obviously this county it doesn't belong to me but I want it I'm going to go through basically the motion uh, the motions right you're going to say yeah bureaucracy I'm going to ask the liege and then if they say no I can finally declare war that sort of stuff I think that is really really cool because it will now directly not just do this but also actually influence where your liege is standing and where their realm authority is standing, which, by the way, I would find cool if it was a bit more fluid. Realm authority, crown authority, if you uh, know what I'm talking about, you're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4 when it comes to the levels and the royal court, honestly, and the grander mechanic, I, I feel like they, I mean, I, I know Paradox isn't going to do it, but I gotta tell you, they are such a good groundwork for mods such as uh, submission to authority, which is really good about this topic. 
which is a mod that makes it so that it is more fluid and I am certain that these events will surely really go into this and actually support it. So honestly, I have to tell you, from a vanilla and from a mod point of view, I am really positive about the opportunities that the player here has if they are a vassal. So, you lose 400 bucks, uh, you gain 10 code grander. So again, this is out of the perspective of a player liege that is getting a player request here. We're seeing the other side of the coin, basically. Start construction of a temple and then, of course, uh, Gwedish... Gwedishki? Is that... Wait, but isn't this... I thought this guy was, a. Uh, Maybe he isn't. I thought this was just Heinrich. And he's of House Salian, I want to say. I could be wrong. Uh, but I'm, I'm surprised that... Who's the Gwedesh? Honestly, whatever. Uh, it sounds Italian, maybe I'm wrong there. Uh, and Bre uh, Bremislied, of course, which are the uh, Bohemians gain renown that is pretty cool. If they are astute, your liege may also ask for something in return for granting your petition, such as a favor hook or a bit of gold. A counter you can, of course, reject, leaving you both empty-handed. So this is, uh, once you're in the negotiation phase, you actually have a legitimate negotiation going on. Petition, se a second opinion. Kaiser Heinrich thinks for a moment, then cries, Arnold, I require your counsel on this matter. The Patriarch steps forward, eagerly clutching his robe. Counselor po uh, prop robe. Okay, that's a... Uh, don't worry. This is just a clutching his bishop robe or whatever, right? So there's just a small mistake. They happen. Yes, a most delicate matter, my lord. Duke Dedo, the Kaiser Spymaster, watches quietly from the sidelines. If I were to outmaneuver him publicly, the Kaiser turns back to me. His attention already moving elsewhere. I need to do something. Oh, so this one basically is you having to overcome a challenge to get this granted. In this case, you can either overcome the court chaplain or you can overcome the Spymaster Dedo. I know just a uh, thing to trip Arnold up or Dedo. Surely you can see the sense. If a liege is not being very forthcoming, you can also attempt to convince or outsmart a trusted advisor as a last resort at the cost of some prestige. You will need to pass a skill check in a relevant area, usually against one of your liege's counselors, or have an ally near, near to the throne, the king's wife perhaps, whose ascent will force your liege's hand. I like that a lot. Now, why do I like this so in particular? Because honestly, it doesn't really change that much, right? Let's think about it in gameplay terms. This, you sit down, you have a skill check, a classic, you know, for roleplay games, of course. And then you either win or you lose. If you win, you get what you want. If you lose, you don't get what you want. This in itself isn't that important. What is important is that you're doing this against actual people. Because this makes it so that if you really want to roleplay this, and I will be honest with you, I've always been an advocate of roleplaying as heavily as you can in this game. If you really want to roleplay this, you can basically go and say, okay, this guy just overcame me. You know, let's say Arnold, for example, overcame me and I didn't get what I wanted. I have a personal crusade against that fella. This involves more people into roleplay that otherwise you sort of have to fantasize in. Let's be really, until now, it was really difficult or rather really discouraged for the player to even know who is on the council of your liege. Yes, you can see it on the right side in the council screen, right? But does it matter for you? It really doesn't. If the, you know, for example, uh, let, it never happens, but if the liege were to fabricate a claim on you, you would just say, okay, yeah, the Chancellor did this, but there's no personal relationship in this. In this one, you can actually go and it's not just fantasy, it's not just in your head roleplay, it is genuinely actually occurring. Big fan of this, I always like when they involve more people. Uh, the second interaction, next to, of course, bringing a petition to the court, is pay homage. Homage represents the formal pledge of loyalty by a feudal lord to their liege and provides opinion, renown and prestige to both parties, providing the occasion goes uh, providing the occasion goes smoothly. This decision is also available to AI as well as players. So this one, of course, uh, you know, again, the uh, bringing a petition to court is basically just you having a direction, getting to pick which event you want when you interact with your liege. Uh, that is something that is already done for the AI when you hold court because then the petitions are chosen based on what is available. Pay homage, on the other hand, of course, should be available to everybody because this is something that happens when a new liege takes place. Or rather, even when, you know, let's say uh, a new vassal comes into place and says, I swear allegiance just like my parents did. And this is exactly what we see. So this is also available to the AI. I will say and I, I really do want to point that out. I love the system, first and foremost. I want to say thank you for actually thinking of this. We, we talked about this so often. But I will say, um, they can get away with this here. I think the symbols here look fine. But I was really hoping when it comes to like this, I mean, honestly, this, this doesn't look that good. I, in my opinion. This, I, I don't know, this, and this, here's nothing there, right? I was sort of hoping they would have like nice images in general. Maybe these are just placeholders, but let's be honest, I honestly doubt it because these are, of course, assets that we know. This is the hook asset. I believe this is a few uh, diplomatic relationships. I, I believe this is a diplomat thing. And then this would be, uh, of course, the money icon, right? But I was mostly hoping, I don't know, maybe just an entire frame, something that just looks nice. This is just, you know, it's kind of an icon on top of a decision, but like, 
I've seen this in mods, right? I've seen this in mods, and the bar of Paradox development, of course, is much, much higher than what I expect from mods. So where I'm coming from is primarily, I really wish we had like a stylized image here, for example, something that just looks nice. I know, I, I know, this basically lets you recognize this decision. This is the contract decision, this is the goal decision, this is the hook decision, and these immediately are the same symbols that you know from there, but something that looks a bit more embedded is definitely something that I would have hoped for. But let's take a look at the homage. So you as the vessel, you come and say, I of course would like to be uh, your vessel, you know, I would like to do that. It is, you don't have to do it. it, you know, that is something that is of course seen as disrespect, but you don't have to do it. So you can do it as demonstrate submission. Of course, there's nothing here, again, it looks a bit ugly because of this in my opinion, but anyway, uh, you give nothing, but you demonstrate submission, it still happens. You could give them a promise favor, so you basically say, hey, if you call, then I will come, and this is right here, you know, exactly what you promised them, and they actually can utilize it because it is a hook. Uh, you could also increase obligations, so this, uh, you could make it worse for yourself to say, yes, of course, you know, you are my liege and I would like to be in your debt because you are protecting me. That's, that's how it is. Or you could bestow them with some gifts. Uh, I personally like these, I think, uh, again, great, great mod, ab mod ability here in general, uh, but yeah, again, I don't know, the, the visuals, it's just kind of, it looks uninspired, you know what I mean? I, I think the mechanic is great, I think this mechanic is great as well, but like, yeah, the, the visuals here don't really blow me away. Not that they have to, but I just, I do want to bring it up, because I, I'm always incredibly honest when it comes to these, uh, when it comes to these talks, and I just want to say, hey, that is on my mind, whether it is on yours is something else, of course. This decision costs some prestige to initiate, is only available to feudal and clan vessels, so clan vessels are actually in here, and they surely... They couldn't increase obligations because they don't have contracts, so this one would fall away. I hope there's a substitute, but it's currently not shown here. This is the feudal uh, feudal interface. And they can only be undertaken once per liege. If the ruler changes or dies, you can make a new pledge of allegiance to their replacement. As with petition liege, this decision can be rejected outright. It is not totally without risk, even if they let you through the door. I gotta tell you, if you reject a pledge of allegiance, that is crazy. You really have to hate that guy's guts. Uh, there's a great deal of pressure for such an important event to go well, and not all lords and ladies are made for public speaking. Things can go awry in a variety of ways, depending on the petitioner's skills and other factors, and this is really cool. Have you put in the hours to learn Norman, or merely practiced a few key lines the night before on the road to Windsor? Basically, if William wins, and then all of a sudden the Anglo-Saxon lords say, I would like to pledge allegiance, you may get mocked. You may be seen as uh, still a foreigner, well, I mean, you are Anglo-Saxon, but from the Normans' point of view, right? And as a barbarian. And so they may reject it. What that actually looks like? I wonder. I, I really do wonder, because rejecting that, I mean, that is a huge, huge thing, right? This idea that the liege would say, I reject this, it's too puny, I, I don't accept it. I mean, that's honestly, like, that's civil war territory. Uh, will your shah empathize with your stammer or imitate it in front of the entire Persian court? That is very rude. Will you forever uh, more be called the clumsy by your vindictive sultan simply because you lost your balance once? Uh, I think this this kind of looks weird to me, the way he like kneels here, but honestly it doesn't really matter because all work in progress, don't worry about it too much. Let's focus on the event. Homage, mortified, and you can see everything that is important. I'm just double-checking here on my second screen. Servants usher me into Khalifa al Mustanzir's great hall in Cairo, where he sits the throne, waiting to hear my pledge. I go to kneel before him, but in my haste, awkwardly stumble in a heap at his feet. I hold myself up and make the oaths all the same, my cheeks burning red before the assembled court. With that, the ceremony is complete. I have nothing to offer my caliph except my promise to faithfully serve as a vassal of the Sultanate. Al Mustanzir grins broadly behind his hand as the court slowly fills with laughter. This is how I will be remembered. You gain the nickname the Stumbler. You spend 150 prestige. You gain renown. Uh, this is the Hashimi dynasty. And Caliph Al Mustanzir loses 10 opinion of you. He is disappointed in you being as embarrassing as you are. Uh, I should never have come. And the homage ends. That's interesting. This was, of course, a system. I want to point that out as well. This system existed in CK2, but it was l way less expanded and there was way less interaction there. So I, I think this is the, the right choice, basically bringing something back, but vastly expanded in the way that you can approach it, both as the, as the vassal, but also as the liege. I just, uh, I, in CK2, if I'm not misremembering this, they, I don't know whether you can do it as a, honestly, I don't remember anymore. Can you do this as a player? I know as a vassal, AI vessels rather, uh, they will constantly come up and be like, yeah, I would like to pay homage, and then you have a chance of choosing the right or the wrong thing, and that's it. You just like each other more, you dislike each other more, you get some money sometimes, that sort of stuff, but nothing that is, you know, you don't care about these events. Now, this could actually be important. I do hope, at least I would be, I would, I would personally appreciate that. I would like it if in my vessel list as a liege, I had 
you know, a list of who has basically paid homage and who hasn't, so that I can see who is a good vessel and who's a bad vessel. I think that would interest me a lot, but I honestly doubt that will be integrated, because this mechanic very much uh, seems like uh, it was taken to say, we want to develop this further, which they did, and then that's it, right? And it's actually interesting, can you see this guy here? <laughs> this is the, uh, this is clearly, oh, it must be the Spy Master. This is the Spy Master of Al Mustanzil, and that is, I believe, the uh, Assyrian Patriarch, I'm not sure. Anyway, interesting though, of course it shows a very diverse court here as well. Uh, I would really like it if this mechanic was further integrated and further uh, uh, stylized, sort of, in the style of CK3, so a very system-integrated mechanic, but as it stands, this already is a massive step up from CK2, where again it was basically just a random event, you get some money, you lose some opinion, you gain some opinion, that sort of stuff. Not very interesting. This one goes quite a bit further because it actually changes the circumstances, you know, with, uh, yeah, okay, there's a money gift there, you could just demonstrate submission, but pr a promise favor or increasing obligations. Now, that is a change. If something does go wrong, it is up to the leash to decide if they will let it go. Giving your rival the opportunity to publicly mock your clumsiness might not be the best idea. If they do decide to embarrass you, you will lose some prestige and opinion with your liege instead of gaining them. Regardless of the outcome, both your dynasties will gain a small amount of renown and the rewards are increased by offering gifts in addition to your pledge, such as contract change in favor of your leash so you basically get more rewards the more you give them and then during your life you can you know sort of turn that contract change back yet again that broadly covers these two new decisions so i'll leave it there for now chop missed i want to say thank you i think uh, and whoever else worked on this of course i think this is a really good approach we actually can look from the bottom to the top we actually can go in there uh, i i will say and you know i'm always hungry for more advances for more development I would really like it as well, and this won't be in this, obviously, otherwise it would probably be in this sort of uh, dev diary already. If you, as a council member, which means you are a vassal, could influence the royal court as well. If you, for example, and this here it becomes a lot, but I do want to mention this. If you could, for example, you know, when this challenge comes up, here we are, if you could make a choice. If you could say, yeah, obviously, I want to let it go, I want to push hard, you know, that sort of stuff. I would like that. I would really, really like that if the council members actually played a role here as well. Now, listen, we've been satisfied. The vassals play a role in the royal court. You as a vassal can do something. What about a councillor, though? <laughs> what about, you know, that sort of stuff? You can have your own agenda as a spy master. You can do something in the royal court, for example. I'm just saying, hey, maybe eventually. But as it stands, I think this mechanic is great. This is basically what I expected, what I was hoping for, and what I wasn't so sure would be happening since it took until now for this to be mentioned. So... Really want to say uh, it has happened. I'm a big fan of it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And that's it for now. I would like to thank the members of the channel, of course, the Dukes, the Counts, and the Barons. And with that, later, Alligator.